New dangers tonight from the love bug computer virus, this time disguised as a friendlier email. Copycats have now spread around the world. Bill Graffin joins us live. Bill. David, this is far from a childhood prank anymore. Experts say that the I love you virus could end up costing the world economy $10 billion in lost work time. As the I love you mess gets cleaned up, there's more cyber chaos spreading in the form of these titles. This is a great new game. Very funny. Even Mother's Day gifts. They're no gifts. They're computer bugs that can ruin certain programs in your files. All somebody has to do is grab that file that's there and modify it slightly to, to change the subject line, to change any part of that file, and therefore it looks like a completely different virus or worm. This is the start page again. That's keeping Internet service yeah, providers there. busy, Wait. like Voyager.net in New Berlin. They have to keep their computers updated with all the new virus titles. Those have been updated with the new subject headers. So we're blocking those messages before they come in so that they can't pass, pa be passed on to the end user. The FBI does have some leads in the case, but is cautiously checking out reports that the I Love You author may be from the Philippines. Now, the FBI can trace the original Love Bug program to a certain computer, but proving who sent that program over the Internet can be difficult, passwords can be stolen, and fake accounts can be set up. David? Sounds like it may take a while for this one to die down a little yeah. bit. Bill Graffin reporting from the newsroom.